His works flow out of obedience. John 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Verses 21 to 23. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. As we continue to examine John 14 and the scriptures around that promise which Jesus said, those of us who believe in him, the works he did, we will also do, and greater works because he went to the Father, uh, to understand how we will actually do those works, the next thing we see Jesus highlighting is obedience that flows out of love. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And he says, if any man loves, um, uh, he who keeps my commandments, that's the man who loves me. And I will reveal myself to him. So in that place of love and obedience, there's going to be an increasing revelation of Jesus Christ himself. And not only that, when Judas, Judas asks him, Lord, how are you going to reveal yourself to us? Jesus says, you know, if a man loves me, he'll keep my word. My father and I will come and live with him. That means he's going to have this deep, personal a relationship with me. So you see, love, obedience, intimacy, revelation. And out of that will flow the works he did and greater works. You see, right there, Jesus is giving us keys to, that will enable us to move in the, in the very works that he did. What must we do? We love the Lord. Our hearts are gripped with the love for Jesus. Jesus, I love you. You are more to me than anything else. Jesus, uh, my heart is set on you. And because I love you, I will obey your word. I will walk in obedience to you. And what, is ha what happens as a result? Our love and obedience, he says, I will reveal myself to you. And not only that, the Father and I will come and live with you. There is this, this place of closeness, this place of intimacy. So here you and I are people who are walking in love. We're walking in obedience to the Lord and we're walking in an increasing revelation of Jesus Christ and we're walking in an intimacy with the Father and the Son. And out of that, the works He does, we are doing an even greater works. You see, that's the basis out of which these works are beginning to manifest in our lives. So it's a journey we are making. We're growing in our love. We're walking in obedience. We're growing in our revelation of who Jesus Christ is, and we're growing in this place, in this amazing relationship of intimacy, because the Father and Jesus are dwelling with us. That means you're living with us. There's this intimacy, there's this closeness of the Father and with Jesus, and out of that, the miracles of God are beginning to take place in our lives. So how are we going to do His works? His works come out of this place of obedience. When we walk in obedience, Walk in love, walk in that increasing revelation, and walk in that place where He is dwelling with us. The miracles of God begin to take place through our lives. So let's make this, let's make this a priority to love, to obey, to increase in revelation of who He is, and to grow in that intimacy with the Father and with Jesus. Works flow out of this place of closeness with Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that the Lord Jesus has revealed to us keys by which we can do the works He did and greater works. And I pray that each one of us will grow in our love and our obedience, in our revelation of Jesus, and in our intimacy with you, Father, and with your Son. And as you dwell with us, we will know you as people that we just walk, that we just walk with you, we live with you. We'll have that place of intimacy with you. And out of that, come forth the mighty works that are manifest through our lives. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.